Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your channel of messages for January 2019. I can't believe I'm saying 2019 already, but here we are. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Virgos. So when I was meditating on your guys' situation, I kept seeing the number two. So um, to me, that is showing me that you need to stay optimistic to hold on to your vision, to, to keep walking your path, even through difficult times. Some of you guys have been going through some major life transformation. Some of you are purging out um, many things, people, thoughts, ideas, uh, traditions that you have held on to your whole life. Um, people that have been in your life for many years. Um, just a lot of things are falling away and you're purging and releasing right now. So just remember to stay optimistic for that group of you. Um, for some of you, you're really taking your power back. You are being very confident in your decisions. You are being very confident in your, uh, your, just your journey in the future. Like you are seeing what you want. You're going after it and you're not letting anybody hold you back. And that is very, very uplifting and positive for this group of you because for far too long, you've been living under everyone else's rules. So, um, very nice to see that for some of you, you're moving into your spiritual calling. You are awakening to your, uh, psychic gifts you are awakening to your connection to source and you are embracing it and um, honing in on it and making it stronger. And that is amazing for this group of you. So congratulations. Uh, for some of you, you guys have a lot of people that are drawn to you for your help, for your advice, for um, just a lot of, a lot of help. You're being called on by a lot of people. It's not a bad thing and it's not selfish to tell people I can't help you right now. I am working on myself. I'm doing what I need to do and down the road if I can help you later I will, but for right now I'm focusing on me. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't be afraid to tell people that. Don't be afraid to stand your ground and speak your truth because you guys are coming into a whole new power um within yourselves and you're going to need your own energy. <clears throat> to get through this time. So don't think of it as selfish. Don't think of it as rude. Um, think of it as um, your gift to yourself because now is an important time for you guys to um, be replenishing your energy, be um, focusing on what you need to do in the next year. So, um, and many of you are doing that, which is amazing. There's a lot of positive energy for Virgos for January 2019 and the whole year out. Um, a lot of it is about self-reflection, self-improvement, um, and just really taking the reins back of your own life and trudging your own path, taking the path of least, <clears throat> least travel instead of least resistance. <clears throat> so um, good for you. For some of you, <coughs> excuse me. For some of you, you may need to speak your truth. I feel my throat chakra is closing. And um, you've been holding back telling people how you truly feel. You've been holding back um, because you're worried about it causing waves. You're worried about it hurting other people. So you suffer in silence and you give up your own dreams, your own wants, your own goals in order to appease other people. Um, it's time this month to... To really, um, and I don't mean this in a rude way, but don't consider anyone else's feelings. Consider your own. Make yourself happy. And when you're happy, the world benefits. And it may upset people along the way, but those people aren't meant to be in your, in your life, in your path then. Because the people that truly love you, truly support you, will be happy when you are happy. So move forward with your own cup. Fill your own cup with your happiness, with self-love, with self-confidence, with self-esteem, and move forward so then you can in turn offer that cup to the right person 
when that time comes. But if you're depleted and your energy is shot and you are constantly giving to other people without them giving back to you, you're not going to have anything left to offer somebody that you truly love and want to offer that to down the road. For some of you, you guys have too much on your plate. You guys are splitting your energy between way too many things. And that doesn't necessarily mean another person. You could have two jobs right now. You could have um, a full-time job and volunteering. Or, you know, it's just your energy is being split in too many different directions. And you're feeling overwhelmed. And you're not able to fully uh, contribute or fully invest in in your projects, in your passions, because you're you're having to split yourself in too many directions. So narrow down your responsibilities. Narrow down um, what it is that you are um, are devoting yourself to or uh, volunteering to do, because you guys are just feeling really, really tired. And um, in order for you to have a, a feeling of rejuvenation, being able to take that deep sigh of breath, you're going to have to cut back on how much you are giving out. Um, some of you are juggling two people that as well needs to be, um, cut because, um, you're not able to, to be happy yourself. You're so busy giving your energy out to these two separate situations, these two separate relationships, and you're just exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of the above. Um, it's time to really go within and take a step back and decide what you want to do. It's going to hurt one of them no matter what, but it's hurting both of them right now, even though it may not seem like it, it is. So it's time to cut off one of those people, no matter who it is or who you're dealing with. One of them has to go because um, it's only causing um, more and more hurt as you go. And, um, you know, you're creating bad karma, uh, for yourself and nobody wants that. So it's just time to go within. If you have to stop talking to both of them in order to quiet your, your mind and your heart long enough to decide who it is that you're wanting to move in that direction, then by all means do it. But, um, whatever, whatever, um, person you decide, you need to devote your time, investment, emotions to that one person because um, I see things going uh, in a very uh, sour direction if you keep holding on to these two people much longer. Um, for some of you, you're finding balance. You're finding healing. You took a step back from the world. You focused on yourself and you are healing what it is that is ailing you, whether that be emotional imbalance or a broken heart or um, indecision, whatever it is, you're finding the balance that you need to move forward. Um, for some of you, you have a soulmate coming back. Um, once you're finished healing, once you have um, emerged all this time of solitude, of working on yourself, your twin flame is coming back in. And um, I do see reunions for uh, Virgos in January. Um, once you come into a reunion for this group of you, make sure um, you are continue to nourish the relationship, continue to provide a healthy balance to each other. Um, and this will be successful and separation will not happen again. Um, for some of you going through a divorce, this is a very hard time for you. You're ready just to walk away. You're ready to give up, give them everything and just walk. Um, be cautious of this. Uh, think twice before you do this. Um, for this group of you, there's, there could be some deception on their part and um, you should probably look into them uh, or have your lawyer or however it is. And this is not for everybody, but for this group of you, they're hiding money. And if you just walk away, uh, that will go unnoticed. Um, for those of you, this fits, uh, if you stick it out and let your lawyer do their job, this will be founded. This will come up in court. So, um, so be cautious of just walking away. Uh, you're just pretty much trying to avoid the conflict because you don't want to face the possibility of them bringing out things that that aren't always pretty, but everybody has things that aren't pretty. Um, and 
it's not going to affect the outcome of the divorce. So be strong and uh, stay optimistic even through those tough times. So, uh, and you will benefit from doing that. For some of you, you need to be cautious of your thoughts. Our thoughts create our reality, we all know. So stay positive because um, you're kind of stuck in this mindset of nothing ever right goes or nothing ever goes good for me. Nothing ever goes right. I'm never going to find a job. I'm never going to find a love, you know, the love of my life. And you're just bringing in that energy to you. Remember to stay positive. Know what amazing people you are. Um, keep that optimism your optimism high because um, good things are coming in for you. For those of you who are single, super single, not waiting for anybody, um, you're meeting new people in February through a mutual friend or through a coworker. Um, this is going to be bring in um, long-term commitments, life partners for a large group of you. Um, for those of you who are in separation from a soulmate from anywhere from um, 12 months to 12 years, those people are returning in February, March, and April um, to rekindle a relationship. It may start out as a friendship, but very quickly will return back to um, the lover's status. So um, stay optimistic about those returning. For those of you who are in separation from a twin flame, if you are the one who is waiting for a flame to return, they are returning mid-January. Um, this is for those of you who have been in separation 18 months to four years. They are returning, especially if they are a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, Libra. Those are the ones that are sticking out. Pisces is also in there. Those are the ones I'm seeing um, predominantly, but um, that's sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So uh, huge reunions in the first couple months of January and February. So please don't lose hope. Please keep those positive thoughts. Keep doing your meditations, your um, positive affirmations, your moon rituals, um, because your thoughts create your reality and they are coming back to you. You just have to stay positive. For those of you who are in a third party and you're the one with the third party, um, the need to cut the third parties out are super important right now because the um, the angels are trying to uh, bring twins back together for the new year and purge out karmic partners. So please allow the cycles to end as you see they need to end. Um, this is very important uh, to stay on track as the collective so we can do what we are meant to do here um, as the collective uh, twin flames and do our soul's purpose, provide our service to the world. So um, if you are the ones with the third party, please consider um, narrowing that down to two because there are a lot of you that are having the third parties. Uh, follow your heart and that will never fail you. Um, for some of you, it's time to release and um, uh, release your fear. You have a lot of fear moving forward. You have a lot of fear of the future. The, the universe will take care of you. You will never be led to a place where you're not meant to be. So um, don't fear the future. Embrace uh, what's coming towards you and, and trust in the balance of the world, um, the wheel. It, it goes up and down, um, but we're always brought to a place where we are meant to be. So don't fear the future. Don't hold back on moving forward because the more you fight uh, destiny, the more you fight fate, the more you fight the universe, the harder times become. So go with the flow, go with the natural movement of things, allow things to come, allow things to go. And what's meant for you will always find you. So please release the fear. Um, for those of you who are dealing with a family member or family members who are giving you a tough time, um, sometimes family is not always meant to be in our life 100% of the time. Sometimes it takes walking away, and becoming successful and happy in your own being is what your family needs to see. They walk away, walk away and do what you're meant to do. Walk away and follow your heart and they will return when they see that you're happy, when they see that you were right, when they see that you had the courage and uh, the strength to move forward in your own conviction, they will see that you are happy and they will be back in your life. So don't fear that. 
But sometimes family has a way of holding us back when they think they know what's best for us. So really follow your heart. I can't say that as I can't say that enough. It will never fail you. So Virgos, I hope you have a beautiful first month of 2019 because there are many more to follow. I hope you guys have a beautiful year, a beautiful month. And as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.